Hello, my name is Cher Pastore and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator with CAP Nutrition LLC in New York City. A clinical dietitian is a dietitian that works in a hospital-based setting. The dietitian is then responsible for the needs of the patients on their floor. There are different examples. You could work in the intensive care unit, you could work on a general medical floor, or you could work possibly on a neurological floor. And each of these different floors that you're working require different needs. If you're just on a general floor, you might just be responsible for helping the patients decide what they should eat or what kind of food allergies they have if they have special dietary restrictions. <clears throat> some patients need kosher diets, some patients need to follow a diabetic diet, so you are responsible for making sure that each patient gets the right kind of diet that they have requested and or that they need based on their medical condition. Now, if you work in the intensive care unit, everyone there needs to be fed mostly through um, a nasogastric tube, so the tube just goes through their nose into their intestine and they are fed just liquid formula or you have to give nutrition through the vein, which is called parenteral nutrition. It is the clinical dietitian's responsibility to calculate the nutritional needs of the patient, to suggest a formula. Of course, the doctor has to sign off on this, but it's the dietitian's job to determine what those needs are. Working as a clinical dietitian in a hospital can be quite stressful. You have to meet the needs of all the patients, you have to deal with the doctors, you have to deal with the kitchen staff, so you're the liaison between many different things that might be out of your control. And at the end of the day, you are the one responsible for this patient's nutritional needs. So therefore, it is up to you to make sure you can handle stress and help your patients the best way you can. That is the role of a clinical dietitian.